the after show with Heather Gay from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City and Mia Thornton, Real Housewives of Potomac Behind the Bar, Jake Cohen. Here's a cookbook, Jew-ish, a cookbook, Reinvented Recipes from a Modern Man. Shout now. Um, so this is your first time in New York City since you've been a housewife, right? Since the reunion. Oh, since the reunion. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it's kind of your first time here since everything's opened back up. Yes. I mean, I know you were in Times Square with your daughter last night. Yes. Are people recognizing you around yes, New York? And what got, is that like? It's incredible. Like, we got VIP for the Ferris wheel in Times Square, which, you know. <laughs> Great. It's a huge boon. Right. Um, and, yeah, like, a fan recognized us at Budokan. Like, it's been fun for Ashley to kind of, my daughter, to see me, like, outside of just being a mom. Yeah. And it's great to show her the city. That's great. And what about you? What's what's your life been like since you've been become a housewife? It's wild. Yeah? Yeah, I love our fans. I'll tell you that. I appreciate each and every one of them. Um, I can't go to Chipotle, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, Did you go to Chipotle before? No. For real though? Yeah, right. I mean, right. like, no. Yeah. But now it's different because now they know my story. Right, right. It's true. Okay, I want to go back to our virtual audience. Here's Trisha and Sarah from St. Louis with a question for Heather. Hi, Trisha and Sarah. Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. We love, love you. Love you Hi, back. Tina. Hi. You guys are so cute. Thank you. Yes. Heather, we are so excited that Salt Lake City is back. So Thank we you. want to know, have you spoken to Rihanna since last season wrapped? And have there been any more famous people popping up in your DMs in anticipation of season two? Good question. Great question. And, um, you know, I really knocked all of the big celebs out season one. Yeah, you so, really did. <laughs> you know. I know, you really did. <laughs> but I did repost uh, Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. He was wearing, like, a shirt that could have been easily reduced to a thumbs up, but right. it was doing an actual finger gesture. Oh, that's funny. And I was like, listen, thumbs up, ASAP. Um, oh. <laughs> Oscar and... Oh, they dropped. All right, forget it. Oh, no, right. Um, Heather, Peter M. wants to know, considering you're a big Bravo-holic, what's been your reaction to everything going on with Erica this season? And what do you think the biggest difference is between Beverly Hills and how your friends have dealt with Jen's legal troubles? Oh, good question. Ooh. That's a good question. Um, yeah, of course I've been watching everything play out because, you know, it's happening for Salt Lake City. It's almost parallel. Right. But, um... Unfortunately, Jen's at the hub of her issues, and she has a lot more to answer for than Erica James. Right. I mean, Erica has not been charged with Yeah, anything. exactly. Yes. Jen Jen is at the focus of her issues, and Erica's adjacent. Right. You know? So how have, how would you say, watching Beverly Hills, those women have dealt with Erica's issues differently than you all have dealt with Jen's? Well, the biggest thing is that Jen is in it. You know, Jen is honest and, like, kind of, open about her fears and what she's facing and the reality of what's going on. And Erica's very much, you know, presenting. Uh-huh. Okay. So the so the difference is really between the 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 two principles at the at the yeah. heart of it. Jen's it. asking for help yes. and support and compassion. And Got Erica's it. saying, why would you do this to me? Got it. Um Mia, uh, Leah, I want to know if you honestly think Robin calls Giselle out when she's being too messy, or are they truly just a package deal? They're a package deal. <laughs> um, Mia, Sarah R. wants to know if you agree with Giselle that Wendy is too sensitive to be in the group of women. Oh, I think Wendy has second season like blues. Uh, Mommy0431, Heather, will your friendship change if Jen is convicted, like if she's truly found guilty? No. No. Um, Mia, uh, Ari C, since you have step-grandchildren yourself, what did you think of Karen wanting to be called Diamonds when she becomes <laughs> a grandmother? Listen, I don't want to be called grandma either, okay? <laughs> it's me, me all day. Me, me. Right. Okay? Um, I should have thought of Diamond. By the way, Mimi is a nickname for some it grand... Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Delaney A., Heather, what kind of advice would you give to Mia for her first reunion? I mean, don't be like me, Mia, don't and, show. like, leave it all on the table, because they said, leave it all on the field. Don't don't leave it all on the field, because there's a lot you should hold back. No. You're, Mia doesn't need advice from me. She's killing it. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> I want to thank Heather and Mia and Jake...
Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.